have to first understand the power of enthusiasm. Not fake enthusiasm, real enthusiasm. Th enthusiasm is when you have clarity. I know a lot of people who are actors, right? Who are successful actors in the sense that they, want, they have a desire to be actors. They haven't worked yet, or they've worked in small films. They really want to work. Now, they're brilliant. If I see their physiology, I see their face, the way they look, I can know straight away whether they're going to be a good actor or not. But some of those people who have fantastic acting abilities, have great faces, have a situation where they're so good, have one of the biggest key things missing, which is they don't have the enthusiasm in energy in their body that it goes projecting. Let's take examples. I'll give the first example of Ritik. If you look at his, and his father even, look at those, and his daughter, and his mother, all four people. If you look at them, what is one striking quality within all four of them? Can anyone tell me? I, how did everyone know? Everyone said eyes. Everyone said it. I didn't say anything. Everybody has one thing, the eyes. When you, anyone met Mr. Rakesh Roshan? When you meet him, his eyes are so powerful, it's as if he can see your soul. He's like this. Now, some people can say, whoa. Even I went, whoa. But he's got power in his eyes. When you see Ritik Roshan, even as Krish, you see his image with his mask on, what is the most powerful thing about him? When Sunena was here yesterday, if you looked at it carefully, you would have seen the power of her eyes. When you look at Pinky Roshan, and you see her, she has a different kind of power in her eyes. She doesn't have the focus power. She has the love power. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the eyes. If you look at Shah Rukh Khan, What's, Shah Rukh Khan, in my opinion, is not a very good-looking actor. He's not. He's average. But Shah Rukh Khan is also a big Bollywood star. What makes him different? What's good about that guy? Does he have a lot of energy? Huge! In fact, the more energy you have as a person, the greater person you will become. In fact, look at Shah Rukh Khan. He looks... He's not a good-looking man. I, in fact, even acting-wise, I think it's pretty much the same stuff he does. But he's a mega star. Mega, mega, mega star as well. He comes along. He's got power in his eyes. And he has enthusiasm. Salman Khan. He's got a different kind of energy. He's just cool. <laughs> he just walks. And everyone goes, oh. <laughs> I met him once at some event. And he walked in, I was just watching. He, was, uh, he, he just walks in. And he's got this kind of energy about him that is just so powerful that everybody just goes shoo. Ritik walked in yesterday, the whole audience went Whoa! because of energy. You want to be successful, you want to change your life, you want to be a good mother, a good father, you want to be a good business person, you want to be a good actor, you want to be someone that's going to reach the stars, you want to do something really, really well. The only thing you've got to do is you've got to have massive amounts of energy. You've got to have huge amounts of enthusiasm to such a level that your brain says, I am so excited that I have to transmit this. If you know in my religion, for example, I'm a Muslim. In my religion, we're meant to pray five times a day. I've always tried to understand why, what's the concept behind that? Why is it, why, why are you meant to do that? And I thought, this is incredible because five times a day you stand you repeat the same thing over and over again, identical. You f go towards a certain direction, which is uh, the mosque in Saudi Arabia. Now, every day and every hour, every minute, somebody is praying in the same direction. If I thought thought is traveling zhup, in one direction, by millions of people saying the same thing, into one area going round, and it goes boom, out. And what it does, it keeps your state high. When you go into a state of prayer, everyone knows this. It's the greatest energy comes from a state of prayer. It's not beating your chest and going, yes! In fact, when you're in your state of stillness and calmness, your greatest energy comes. And people don't do that. We're so busy. Someone says to me, I'm too busy. I don't have the time. That's not true at all. It means that you're not in a state of calmness. And if you want to create the law of attraction, the first thing you've got to do, you've got to get rid of the negative energy and fulfill your body up with a positive, vibrant energy. When someone meets you and say, how are you doing? They say, Chal rahe, yaar. <laughs> what the 
hell is that? You meet someone, you shake their hand, and they shake hand like this, like as if you're holding a wet fish, right? I mean, when you shake hands with power, what, you know what a handshake is? It's a transfer of energy, literally. So I am very careful who I shake my hands with. I'm so damn careful because I don't want any negative energy. When you're creating a baby, in the act of creating a baby, what is that? It's a transfer of energy, literal transfer of energy. So everything is about your state. And if you get that right, you can do anything you want, anything you want. And I'm saying anything, 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 anything. But if you live in fear, that fear power energy is so powerful that it will travel like enthusiasm across the whole world and everything happens at the same time. When they say when it rains, 